you throw a coin in the wishing well for a reason, just like you blow on the dice for a reason, just like you blow out the candle and make a wish. You close your eyes on your birthday specifically. You bow your head in prayer to this black sun you know nothing of. Jesus is the sun above your head. No way to fuck it up. Your Christmas tree is showing you that Jesus' sun spirals in and out, bringing the seasons. And uh, May 1st is this mythical day of fertility. This is called Ball Day. This is when we're going to go down into this mythical underworld. You know, you're sucking on your candy cane. It's showing you the sun is being sucked off by a black hole at the center of the flat earth plane. It's 800 nautical miles. This is where you're going to find your holy grail. You're going to drink from the living waters and bathe yourself like you're baptized in this mythical shit. It's real. Where the aurora borealis is shooting out, every compass points to it. There's literally no way to screw it up. You know, it's that you're living in hell. That's Helios above your head. You have a double helix. You say hello. How's your health? Help. There's no way to fuck it up. You know, you need to get to the lake of fire before you're dead. And nobody's going to take you there. It's a mythical place. Invisible mountain, the entrance. If I don't personally drag you off there for free, you're going to fucking die. If you take money from people, you know, it's that you owe them something. I don't owe you anything. You just need to lay low and stay out of trouble. I'm going to go sacrifice myself in this lake of fire, become a mortal, come back here and save 144,000 motherfuckers who are written in the book of life. It's just that simple. There's no way to fuck it up. Everything's hiding in plain sight. And, uh, you know, unless I slam this truth down your throat, you won't see it. And you won't have the power to help anybody else. You're just gonna die like your great-grandma or your grandfather. The history of the Grail in ancient times and says the first Fisher King was a man called Bronn. It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny, motherfucker! It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny, motherfucker! That CERN was worth every penny. The porthole to bring my father into this world! He will join us in blood or expire! Silly humans! Silly humans! You know, people ask me all the time, How are you gonna get to the Holy Grail? How is it that you're not taking money, worship, or advice? I don't get it! I'm here on behalf of your grand architect. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. If you take anything from anybody to get them eternal life, it's not selfless. You're going to die. I didn't take nothing from you. I don't owe you anything. I'm going to drag you off to the fountain of youth and get you eternal life if you're blood thick like family with me. There's no way to fuck it up. You will join me in blood publicly or you will expire. I don't want anything from you. I'm going to drag you off free. The history of the Grail in ancient times, and says the first Fisher King was a man called Bronn.